A delay in tariff trade with China, Brexit, and impeachment proceedings, all making for a very active trading day. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Angela Miles with the Russell Report on this very busy day. We're getting right to the action in the Russell. The index, as we're reporting, is right around the high of the day at 1649. The high that we saw earlier was 1650. On the China news this morning, the RVX fell 5%, so some relief coming in volatility, but this is a very fluid situation that could move all around. The ratio right now, one call trading for every 1.2 puts. Among the larger trades, the December traditional for next week at the 1650 put strike active in the 1590s. Also, it looks like there could be some put selling, which might just be a bullish sign. A couple more notes. On Thursday, there were more calls trading than puts. Also, and this is key, open interest on the calls has increased over the past 30 days. Put open interest is down just slightly. Coming up next, let's do some trader talk. Scott Bauer, the CEO of Prosper Trading Academy, joins me on this very active trading day. And Scott, I, some of the money managers out there are looking for a, a big run in the Russell into the end of the year. Are you in that camp? I, I don't know. I mean, it's getting a little bit top heavy here. However, you know, looking at the expected move for next week, there is some volatility added in there. So it's about $27, $28, which, which is kind of high. So that anything, you know, to, to the upside here is going to take us to new levels again. There is some support. If there is a pullback at all in the Russell, there is some pretty decent support around 1611 or so, which almost aligns with that expected move next week. So if someone was, you know, really looking at that upside on that expected move for next week, you know, looking at the 1660, 1665 call spread, not a bad way to go. However, I'm not doing anything right now. I want to wait to see if there is a pullback. If I miss the run of the upside, I miss it. However, if we do get a any sort of pullback on that expected move next week to that 1611 area or so, I will probably be selling some put spreads. Thank you for your trader talk today. That's right for now. I'm Angela Miles. I'll see you here next time.